Asheville definitely is its own little beautiful place. Waterfalls, mountain trails, and camping, hiking, it's all over. It's just this free-spirited little place tucked away in the mountains. I feel like Asheville has always been a place for artists, for writers to come and kind of get away from the noise of bigger cities. There was just something that really spoke to me about Asheville as a whole, and you walk around everywhere and everyone has a story. I mean, a painter, or a singer, or a woodworker, or a potter, you just, you have no idea. To me, it feels like home because Asheville is a great place to start your craft, start your life. It feels like this very vibrant time, and that's really wonderful to see. We're Connie and Alex Matisse, and we are the founders and owners of East Fork Pottery. It's one of those like typical love stories where like, nine years later, I'm still here in Asheville, and it just became more magical. Like, you're able to have much bigger impact than you would in a bigger place. This was built to be a country pottery workshop. Uh, the dirt floor, the rough sawn siding, this 35 foot long kiln that we built ourselves. And it's the same way people have been making pottery for 2,000 years. This will be one of the first dinnerware factories to open probably in the last 50 years. Pretty much all dinnerware manufacturing have all moved overseas. So you're sort of sorting through the rubble of this old industry, finding machines and parts. People who want a full dinner set, they want their plates to stack really nicely, to fit in the dishwasher, to be able to replace one if it breaks. And they're excited to see us I grow. see us grow, yeah. In Asheville, we had an opportunity to build something really special and um, use the, the skills and passions of people who are already here. We've committed ourselves to this place, and from that commitment, the relationships that you make become obviously more meaningful, and that's, to me, what, what makes it feel like home. So you um, all just bought an like, industrial facility down the river? We're just, leasing. Yeah. Um, Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, they started demolition today, actually, which is really exciting. I feel like that whole area is like a whole revamp. My name is Annalise Gormley, and I am the maker for Spoon and Hook. I hand carve wooden spoons and numerous wooden layers. I have called Asheville home since 2009. I was given a spoon that was um, in my family for hundreds of years. I mean, numerous things have kind of been hand-me-downs. It was always kind of a wooden bed frame, a wooden dress, or anything of that sort. So I think that's where the love of wood first came from. The idea that you can have things in your home and cherish them, and there's something that tells a story like that, it kind of became really like significant to me. I think to be part of this town, you kind of have to embrace the culture of it in some capacity. I mean, even if it's just appreciating that it is mindful and like a local scene. I don't know if maybe in another town I would be able to say, I want to be a spoon maker and it could happen in such a fluid way as it has here. But there's just such a community of people who want everyone to thrive. Oh God, naturally, because like, yeah, everyone is so supportive yeah, of each other yeah. in this town. I mean, also like the fact that Asheville is really a town of food, obviously of beer, and of, of craft. And people and want to support that. Like yeah. they, It's yeah. very easy to say like yes to any of it. Everyone has to eat, and everyone has to have something to eat off of. Yeah. yeah. So like, when is Bucks and Hall going to be used for pottery? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you like how like, kind of late to the game? Uh, <laughs> we are late! <laughs> That's sad. Um, Elliot Moss, I cook barbecue at Bucks and Hall. I knew that I wanted to open a barbecue restaurant for a long time, and I really wanted to think about it as a way of taking barbecue back for what I remember. I first went in that space um, about five years ago and it was all boarded up. I did some research and it was a roller skating rink from 1936 to 1939 and then the address changes to Standard Paper Company. I remember standing up in the mezzanine where we'll have the dinner and uh, just looking over that space and I could see it, you know, um, it's pretty interesting. Being in Asheville, a community that really cares about where their food comes from, we, we got to take care of my farmers and my boys, my wood guy, and you know, they're all counting on us to keep going. So it's like a big family. I do it for them, really. We cook our pigs right there in the open, and those are the memories that I had as a kid. You know, seeing that inspired me to open a barbecue place. So hopefully one day I can inspire a little kid to maybe open something of his own.
Asheville Oakfields are like home because in the last 15 years, you've seen um, restaurants opening, um, really using the surroundings, really com being committed to local and sustainable food, craftspeople staying here and kind of celebrating the, the craft environment. Living in Asheville definitely is connection to the space. The weather is beautiful, so there's a lot of fun stuff to do outside. You can walk to like some really magical spots so close and any direction you can go into a totally different landscape that's just so incredible. I mean, you can drive 45 minutes and go pick blackberries for the day or you can go the other direction and go to a waterfall. It's a really special place. I can't imagine calling anywhere else home.